Essentially, gravitropism is a morphological plant response to gravity. For plant roots, this is called positive gravitropism, while in shoots, this is called negative gravitropism. Shoots and roots detect changes in gravity by the sedimentation of amyloplasts in the statocyte gravity sensing cells. However, the areas of detection and subsequent responses are different in the shoot and root. This sedimentation is important in the hormonal response of auxin, a plant hormone whose accumulation results in developmental patterning. Auxin is transported into the nucleus of the growth cells of the shoot and roots by the endoplastic reticulum, where it alters gene transcription. It does this by acting like molecular glue that holds receptor proteins together. The transcription alteration thus encourages or reduces cell growth, resulting in the gravitropic responses of shoots and roots. For roots, gravitropism is an important phenomenon as it allows the rapid downwards curvature of the emerging root. This allows for the root to quickly penetrate the soil, thus providing stability and access to nutrients and water to support plant growth. For shoots, gravitropism allows plants to respond to changes in gravity in adverse weather conditions. For example, after a period of lodging by wind or rain, a young plant can ride itself with a gravitropic response. This is particularly common in cereal crops. Alpenhorn. An alpenhorn is a traditional Swiss instrument that was used for music and communication in mountainous regions of Europe. Traditionally, the horn is made out of hollowed trees, which initially sprouted perpendicular to the mountainside. As a result of gravitropism, the trees begin to grow upright, causing the curvature at the base of the alpenhorn. Mountainous regions. Gravitropism is very common in mountainous regions with things such as debris or snowfall bending young seedlings. This results in the plant responding to gravity and encourages vertical growth as the statocytes distribute along the length of the stem. The Crooked Forest. Located in Poland, there is an area of 400 pine trees which grow on a 90 degree angle at their base. The trees were supposedly planted for 10 years where they were held down by human intervention. It is unknown why the trees were held down. It is thought that carpenters wanted to harvest the trees for furniture. World War II interrupted the harvesting of the trees, resulting in gravitropism occurring when the force on the base of the stem was released. The stem then naturally continued to grow upward, resulting in the curve at the base of the tree. Mm. Epiphytes. An epiphyte is any plant that attaches or uses another plant for support to grow, while having no attachment to the ground. They use surrounding elements such as sunlight, rain and debris to gain nutrients. For example, the basket fern is abundant in Australia's forests, forming a dense basket of interlocking fronds which capture water and create mulch from debris, while also protecting young stems. The ferns grow off the tree before responding to gravitropism and growing upright. Eucalyptus Eucalyptus trees develop wood as their primary mechanism to which they resist gravity in their above ground organs. The branches and upward stem growth evident is partially attributed to growth in those organs responding to negativity to gravity all the time. Creeper. The creeper is resisting gravity as its vertical growth pattern demonstrates gravitropism in action. The creeper lacks the structural strength of wood which is evident in the eucalyptus, however it has evolved mechanisms to resist the pull of gravity on old growth while new growth continues to defy gravity through negative gravitropic growth. Roots have positive gravitropism, therefore a downward response. Natural root growth occurs in the elongation zone of the root itself. When gravity is sensed in the root tip, a morphological response is triggered in the elongation zone. The amyloplasts within statocytes located in the columella cells of the root are responsible for gravity detection. This is due to their high density and relatively large mass, therefore they occupy the lowest point of the statocyte. Consequently, when gravity is detected, these amyloplasts sediment along the columella cell differently. The sedimentation triggers a morphological response in the regulated movement of auxin, a naturally occurring plant hormone, which is usually released symmetrically towards the root apex and then branching outwards and back along the root. Redistribution of auxin towards the lower flank of the root zone, rather than symmetrically, inhibits cell differentiation and growth resulting in the downward curvature of the root. 
This results in an example of how plants can convert physical information into biochemical information. If the root tip was to be removed from the root, gravitropism would not occur. Shoots have negative gravitropism, therefore an upward response. While gravity sensing occurs in the root tip, detection of gravity and the subsequent morphological responses can occur anywhere along the shoot. Therefore, the apical meristem of the shoot is not necessarily required for negative gravitropism. In the shoots of a plant, auxin accumulates on the lower flank of the shoot. However, instead of inhibiting growth and causing downward curvature, upwards curvature of the cell occurs due to the increased growth and differentiation of cells on the lower flank. If the apical meristem of a shoot were to be removed, gravitropism would still occur as detection of gravity occurs along the cortex and epidermis of the whole shoot system. Mutant gravitrophic plants do exist. The amyloplasts in their growth cells don't contain starch. Experimentation has proven that starch is not always necessary for a gravitrophic response. These mutants show little or no gravity perception, so their root growth remains lateral when turned, suggesting that starch would be important for gravitropism. This theory, however, is one of a few currently viable theories. Another example is A. gravitropic aridopsis, whose statocytes in the roots do detect gravity, and the concentration of auxin along the root elongation zone alters. No response results, so in fact the plant roots grow in a multi-directional and unsystematic way. <laughs>